Hello everyone, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. Before we dive into your reading here, I wanted to address a couple of things that were brought to my attention. So if you aren't interested in listening to this portion of the message, you're more than welcome to fast forward and get right into the reading. I'll of course timestamp it. So I just wanted to talk about the difference between channel memberships as well as Patreon memberships. So there are two very different things that I do offer. If you guys have already heard me talk about the Patreon extended readings, that's exactly what is offered there. So if you watch the first half and second half readings for the love forecasts, and if it happens to resonate with you, I do offer the extendeds over on Patreon. There are a few tiers to choose from, so not every tier will offer you the extended access. So that's very important to note because I've had a few people request refunds because they couldn't access the extended readings, and that's because they actually didn't purchase the tiers that gave them access to that. So that's very important to note, but we also make it pretty easy to figure out once you do get over to Patreon to see which tiers are there, how much they are, what each tier offers. So it's just really important to read through the information that's provided. I also do offer a couple of mini forecasts in addition to the extended readings. So depending, of course, on which tier you are interested in on Patreon, that is what's offered there and offered there only. So what is on Patreon is something that you won't ever see on YouTube. Okay, so that's Patreon. So talking now about the channel memberships, I do offer three different tiers there as well. So if that's something that you would like to participate in, that's available on YouTube only. And only the third tier will give you access to the live streams, which once we do get enough members joining, then I'm going to start doing the live streams on Sunday. And of course, once that is a reality, we'll go ahead and post all of the necessary information, dates, times, etc. to give members the opportunity to prepare so that you guys can attend the live streams. And why that's crucial here is it really gives you the opportunity to have a chance to be chosen for a personal private mini reading, either on air while you know the live stream is going on, or if you prefer to keep your information or your reading private, then I can just go ahead and do the reading after the live stream and send it to you via a private YouTube link, which is how my clients receive their readings. It's totally your call how you do decide once you are chosen to receive a personal private one. Now you're probably wondering, well, what's the difference between getting a reading through your website as compared to getting a personal private reading as a channeled member? So here's the thing. The many readings that I do offer start at $35 on the website. So the minimum there is for a five minute mini forecast. And if you are a channel member and get chosen for a five minute reading, the cost there would basically be $9.99. So there is a varying degree of price ranges there that you can choose from. So it just gives you the opportunity to get a mini forecast for a discounted rate if that's something that you're interested in. But in addition to that, it really does give you the opportunity to interact with me during real time and to be able to ask me questions if you have any questions during the live stream. And um, it also gives you loyalty badges as well as custom emojis specifically for those who are channel members. So that's the difference there. And hopefully that clarifies things for those who are a little bit confused as to the different types of memberships that are being offered. All right, guys, so that's it. And let's dive right into your reading. Hello, Virgo. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your 
love forecast for the first half of April from the 1st all the way through the 15th. This is part one of your reading if you happen to resonate with the messages. And if you'd like to watch the extended version that will be available on my Patreon page. That link is down below for your convenience if you're interested in that. And also if you haven't already, check out my latest post on my community tab talking about channel memberships. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get into your reading here. I'll be using the Pink Divine Love Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. We'll grab some insight from the Romance Angels deck and I'll be using my newest deck, the Tanielu Tarot. All right, so let's get into it and see what the messages are here for this reading focused on the first half of April. All right, here we go, Virgo. Angels and spirit guides, please. What's the opening message? Heading into the first half of April. We do have robotic heart, empty feelings, boring routine. So if you're bored with the routine of what you're going through in your romantic partnerships or just life in general, it could be picking up off of that. We do have detox, spiritual cleanse, and purging. So that kind of makes sense for me. Whatever is not working out for you, whatever could be presenting itself to be stagnant energy in your life, maybe it is time to cleanse that out. You know, whatever it is that you feel the need to kind of clean house and get it out of your life, whether that's a romantic partnership that's no longer working for you, or other situations, other relationships, whether those are friendships, or even your work environment, it could be affected by that. You'll know what that detox energy is talking about and what's causing you to feel empty in your life. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we do have fireworks, which is the total opposite energy from something that's boring, right? So loving, passionate, intimacy. If this is what's missing, Virgo, then perhaps that's why this is coming through in this order for you to purge things out, cleanse things out of your life that really is no longer serving a purpose so that you can find something or someone that really brings these fireworks in and kind of just brings you back to life, you know, uplifts you and makes you happy once again. So let's go ahead and grab some tarot to clarify this. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. What else do we need to know? So if you haven't found this type of relationship where you feel loved and appreciated and cherished, or if you're bored by your relationship, then maybe that could be a red flag. And really wanting you to take a look at that, you know, why are you sticking around? Is it due to maybe stability or security reasons, financial reasons, you know, people stick around in a relationship for so many reasons. So you have to take a look at that for yourself. And if it's not for the right reasons, if it's not because you're madly crazy in love with this person, then you really have to figure out, you know, why are you there? Because there could be someone else representing that type of exciting fireworks feeling that's missing here. So this makes sense for me that the magician is coming through because you have absolutely the capability, Virgo, to be able to manifest that firework type energy in your life. If it's not happening, then there's some old energy that could be lingering or you're maybe too comfortable in a situation or a relationship and it's become mundane and boring. And maybe the magician can help you bring the romance back or to rekindle a partnership if you guys are just not seeing eye to eye if there are some challenges there if not this is telling you perhaps it's time for you to go in a different direction to be able to help you to manifest something as exciting as this relationship loving passionate and if things just aren't adding up for you as far as the intimate moments you experience with somebody the chemistry could be fizzling, you know, however way you interpret that. That's why that magician card is showing up. If the romance is missing, okay, we do have the Knight of Cups wanting to come in with this very romantic energy. So again, if that part of your love life is not happening, 
if it used to be that way, but it's no longer that way, then there's something here that needs to be revisited and looked at. Maybe this is something that you and your partner could take a look at. It's like, wait a minute, you know, there were fireworks in the beginning. What happened? Some of you guys might have also experienced this tower moment. Could have been a breakup, a separation, a divorce for some of you guys. Maybe there's a part of your heart space that is feeling empty because you're single right now and maybe somebody ended up hurting you and you're not quite ready to get back into the dating scene perhaps. But there's a part of you that's coming through here, maybe missing the romance and the excitement of what love represents. But the way I see the tower card, even though you might have been through something difficult, there's always a lesson attached to that because when the dust sort of settles from this type of experience, it leaves you with a lesson. You either learn from that or you repeat these patterns where you can have more tower moments in your life. So if you're in separation from somebody, that could be a blessing in disguise, making way for a new beginning for you to find the right kind of love where these fireworks can be a part of your future, you know, or a part of a connection that you end up making, resulting from a decision that you make once you detach from a situation where you're no longer invested. Look at these next two cards. We've got the moon, which can be deceptive. Look at the next card. We do have the nine of swords. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with an air sign. We've got water energy coming through. So I'm feeling here, Virgo, take it if it makes sense. Somebody could have either cheated on you or there was something being hidden from you. Maybe there were trust issues. Maybe they weren't being truthful with you because the moon can sometimes indicate secrets and things that are being hidden. Some sort of deceptive energy there. And sometimes it can be an affair. Sometimes it can be a third party situation. And the nine of swords could be picking up off of your anxieties and your fears tied into that whole experience. Either you're single right now and things are just not moving in your love life or you're having trouble just being able to find peace in your heart and unable to get any rest at night, especially because this taps into insomnia, this taps into nightmares that you could be having. If this isn't you, then it could be the person that you detached from, that you decided it wasn't worth pursuing that relationship any further. And therefore, here we are with this tower. Okay, let's see what else. Can't make it up, guys. Look at that. Okay, so your heart have definitely has been broken. A possibility for a love triangle here. If that's something you relate to, that's not everybody's experience. But it can be here. That could have been the result of the tower. Infidelities, secrets, lies. Either you ended up experiencing this heartbreak because something didn't work out in your love life or you ended up breaking someone's heart. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue to take a look at this energy. I'll be pulling from the romance angels, but that tells us so much right there. All right, let's see what else. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. You do have a reconciliation coming through. Someone from your past is returning to your life. But not all reconciliations should be entertained, honestly. If this is somebody that broke your heart, if this is somebody that you got involved with as far as a love triangle or a third party situation, you have to be mindful of who it is that you are allowing back. If, for example, if you're in another relationship, if you are married, if you are already committed elsewhere and you've got this person who wants to come back that might have represented the love triangle, just be mindful of that. If not, what could also be coming through here is you have a relationship that fell apart because of infidelities, because of third party situations, 
because of heartbreak and trust issues and things that were being hidden. If you guys can actually overcome that and work through it, then maybe this can also be a very successful reunion for two people who went their separate ways. Let's see what else. Maybe they want to tell you something, that they still love you, that they still care for you. This represents a romantic gesture. It could be possibly from a Divine Masculine coming in with that Knight of Cups vibe, right? Very romantic. So it could be a Masculine wanting to bring the romance back. Divine Feminine. Let's grab one more here. Wanting to bring the romance back. Maybe they see you as a soulmate. They're wanting to call you back into their life. Maybe they've been praying about this. Affirmations, visualizations. They're focusing on wanting to manifest union with you once again, perhaps. Okay, let's grab some more tarot advice. I'll be pulling from my modern day seers, tarot and oracle. And this includes new oracle messages as well as new court cards in addition to all of the usual tarot messages, of course. So let's grab some insight from here. Somebody wants to come back. This is interesting. We've got the Three of Cups in reverse, okay? So in the reverse, this is representing independence and alone time, okay? And maybe you're isolating yourself from someone at this point because in the reverse, as you can see in the bottom right there, it still represents a third party. Okay, so a third party, it's confirming it here. A third party wants to reconcile with you, Virgo. But maybe you're being guided towards a different path where you can still manifest a wish, but it's not one that will take you down a path where you will experience a tower moment at the end of all that, you know? We've got the Eight of Swords. You could possibly be dealing with an air sign here maybe, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. I mean, the star represents Aquarius also, but that's a very positive energy. Maybe somebody here from your past who wants to reconcile, but they're also feeling powerless to do anything about this, maybe. Possibly because you're already in another situation. But the Eight of Swords could also represent this, this energy, or is it, a feeling trapped, Okay. So going back to what came through earlier, that robotic heart, empty feelings and boring routine, maybe some of you guys might be already married or in another partnership, but it's not offering you the excitement perhaps that a third party might have offered. So that could be coming through as well. I'm just feeling that for some of you. So take it if it makes sense there. So there's this stuck energy you guys are not talking okay and then we do have the queen of swords again representing more air energy but divine feminine you might have cut this masculine out of your life you've got your boundaries up there's there's infidelity basically coming through here guys it's a third party situation very complicated somebody wants to come back Look at this. Now you've got the sun. What makes this complicated is some of you guys might have been very attracted to this person, but it's coming through as an affair. I just got to say it. It's coming through as an affair. Somebody wants to come back. They had an affair with you. They're still into you. They still are really super attracted to you, but you're being directed to focus on taking care of yourself right now, Virgo. Put yourself first on your priority list. Don't get yourself entangled in complicated situations that might take you down another path where you will experience another tower moment. You've already been there. So you got to do right by you. You know, do right by making better decisions for yourself. You know where you've been, you know where you are, and you ultimately know where you will land if you make decisions that's compromising your integrity here. Okay, so I'll leave it at that, guys, for the first half of this reading. If you resonate with this, we're going to continue taking a look at this energy in the second half, the extended reading. That info is down below for the link. If you're interested in your own personal private reading as well, you can 
book a reading with me. That info is down below in the description box also. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. We do have the King of Cups coming in. Okay, so we have a queen and we have a king. This masculine really cares for you and loves you. Virgo could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So if this represents, for example, a husband, a spouse, a boyfriend, significant other, however way you see that, they're telling you here that they care for you, they love you. The King of Cups is someone who's very devoted. So if you guys are still together and you've got this third party wanting to create more drama, Virgo, be careful, okay? You've got the Ace of Pentacles. So again, there's something coming through as far as your your money matters, career opportunities, manifestation, abundance, all of those things. That looks really good. Ace of Pentacles is an awesome card as well as far as your romantic life because this is telling you that there's a new beginning that you're being offered when it comes to your love connections. 